The Justice and Development Party, AK Party, has secured a big win for its nominee for the post of Parliament Speaker in the runoff election after the opposition parties failed to strike a compromise deal to mobilize their support behind a single candidate to beat the AK Party's choice in the final and fourth round of voting on Wednesday. In the final fourth round of voting, Smith Ilmaz, the ruling AK Party candidate has been elected Speaker by getting 258 votes. His rival in the final tour, Denise Baikal, the candidate of the main opposition Republican People's Party, CHP, got 182 votes. Based on the election results, Ilma seems to have gotten the votes of only his party's deputies, but Baikal apparently got also the support of many of the deputies of the pro-Kurdish People's Democratic Party, HDP. After his election, Ilmaz made an acceptance speech in which he stated that the separation of powers is a civilized partnership under the guise of the president. Ilmaz also stated that members of parliament should come together to draft a new inclusive constitution. Following the election, acting Prime Minister Ahmed Davutoglu once again told reporters that there is no connection between the election of Speaker of Parliament and the negotiations for a coalition between parties that are expected to begin this week. The results of the third round of voting revealed that opposition parties did not bow to the threat that Devlet Bosley, leader of the Nationalist Movement Party, MHP, expressed early in the day. Bosley had pushed opposition parties seeking to get an opposition deputy elected as parliament speaker into a corner by announcing that the MHP deputies will cast blank votes in the final round of voting unless the MHP candidate appears in the final round. If our candidate does not appear in the final fourth round in the vote for Parliament Speaker, then we will cast 80 blank votes, MHP leader Devlet Bosley told reporters following his party's parliamentary group meeting on Wednesday. The MHP will support, its valuable candidate Ekmel Dinsinalu in all the votes for Speaker, Bosley said in the party's group meeting. The MHP's attitude had almost practically smashed all chances of the formation of a coalition composed of opposition parties as such an option is only possible when all three opposition parties join forces. Based on the results of the third round of voting for Speaker, held after no candidate for Parliament Speaker managed to get enough votes two-thirds majority for being elected in Tuesday's session, the AK Party and CHP candidates rose to the final round as they were the candidates who obtained the most votes. Ilmaz got 259 votes, while Baikal obtained 129 votes. In the same round, the MHP candidate Ekmel Dinsinalu obtained 80 votes, while the figure for the HDP candidate, Dengar Mir Mehmet Frat, was 78. The speaker is elected by secret ballot and a supermajority of 367 votes is required for a candidate to be elected in the first two rounds of voting. In the third round of voting, candidates need an absolute majority to be elected, that is, the votes of at least 276 deputies in a 550-member parliament. Should parliament also fail to elect a speaker on the third vote, in the final fourth round a simple majority is enough for a candidate to get elected? With the process of election of the speaker of parliament being complete, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan will now assign probably leader of the ruling AK party Davutoglu a member of parliament to form a government. As the MHP has closed doors on a coalition of opposition parties as such a coalition also requires the support of the pro-Kurdish HDP, the options that include the AK party come to the forefront. The most probable coalition scenario seems to be one to be forged between the AK party and the main opposition CHP although the CHP long fought to pave the way for a coalition of opposition parties. A second possibility could be a coalition between the AK party and the MHP, should the AK party agree to the preconditions set by the MHP for forging a coalition. In a speech in his party's parliamentary group meeting before parliament began voting to elect the speaker on Wednesday, MHP leader Devlet Bosley called on, as usual, the AK party to forge a coalition with the HDP or with the CHP, arguing that these parties have a common attitude towards the settlement process. The MHP describes the settlement process, launched by the government in 2012 to resolve the country's Kurdish issue and terrorism problem, as a treason process, arguing that the process will lead to the disintegration of the country. 
the MHP rules out to be part of any coalition in which the HDP will also be partner, as the HDP is closely associated with the outlawed Kurdistan Workers' Party, PKK, which is recognized as a terrorist organization by Turkey, the US and the EU. The HDP, on its part, pushes for the now stalled process to continue, while the CHP offers in a general way support to the process. Autonomy for the Predominantly Kurdish populated Southeast, the recognition of Kurdish as an official language and the release of Abdullah Akalan, the PKK's jailed leader, are among demands voiced by the HDP as part of the process. The MHP leader did not rule out the option for his party to be a coalition partner, but laid out three preconditions for which, he stressed, the MHP demands full respect by a potential coalition partner. The preconditions laid out by Bosley are, definitive suspension of the settlement process, relaunching the corruption investigation about suspects implicated in a probe that went public on December 17 to 25, 2013, and restricting President Erdogan's use of power to within the constitutional limits. Chances for a coalition government to be forged between the AK party and the MHP look slim, because the MHP leader also made clear that his party would not see it sufficient if only the four former cabinet ministers who resigned following the graft probe be brought before law. MHP leaders remark imply that his party demand that President Erdogan, who prime minister when the graft probes went public, and his son, Bilal, be also involved in the corruption investigation. Audio clips released over the internet following the probes revealed that Erdogan and his son were involved in the corruption. One of the prosecutors who conducted the probes also said in recently that findings in the investigation point to Erdogan as a prime suspect in the corruption case. Bosley underlined that only if a consensus is reached over the MHP's preconditions and the MHP feels that a potential partner is sincere in its attitude would the MHP agree to a coalition. Arguing that nobody should expect the MHP to set its principles aside, Bosley said, if all other alternatives are spent and political instability rears its ugly head, then God willing we won't leave Turkey in the hands of scoundrels, we won't shirk our responsibility. A coalition in which the AK party is left out would need to obtain the support of all three opposition parties represented in parliament to form a government because only then would its total number of deputies surpass 276, the number of seats that represent an absolute majority in the 550-seat parliament. Although the AK party emerged victorious in the election, receiving 41% of the vote, its 258 deputies falls short of the number necessary to form a single-party government. The main opposition CHP has 132 deputies, while the MHP and the HDP each have 80 deputies in parliament. The CHP drew closer to a coalition with the AK party last week after losing all hope that a coalition of opposition parties would be possible due to the MHP's staunch opposition to the pro-Kurdish HDP. In an interview with the Come Hura Yet Daily on Friday, CHP leader Kemal Kalderalu hinted that the CHP would not let the party's recently announced principles be a major hurdle for a coalition with the AK party, saying that the CHP would not be revanchist and would not bring those issues to the agenda of parliament immediately. In return, acting Prime Minister Ahmed Davutoglu described the CHP leader's remark as positive. Previously, the CHP had set preconditions for forging a coalition, such as bringing the suspects of the two graft investigations to trial and bringing to trial officials who were involved in the alleged illegal transfers of arms to Syria in trucks belonging to the National Intelligence Organization, MT. In an effort to carve out a coalition among the three opposition parties represented in parliament, the CHP leader had previously said that he was ready to give the post of Prime Minister to the MHP leader should the MHP agree to join forces with the CHP in a coalition. President Erdogan, who said on Thursday night that a minority government would not serve Turkey's interests, is said to be seeking a snap election because he thinks the AK party could regain its parliamentary majority this way. An AK party majority could push for changes in the constitution that would pave the way for a shift to a presidential system, which Erdogan desperately seeks to establish. Some top AK party figures are said to favor a coalition with the CHP, 
while the party's grassroots favor a coalition with the right-wing MHP, with party spokesman Basir Atali saying as much during a live television interview at the beginning of the week. Shortly before the MHP leader's speech in his party's parliamentary group on Wednesday, HDP CEO Chair Selahattin Demirda said that the HDP is ready to come together in a coalition with the MHP for the sake of resolving Turkey's problems, despite all the harsh words directed at them by the Nationalist Party. Despite all of the accusations, our stance is this, we are ready to sit down at the same table to speak with the MHP and resolve the country's problems for the sake of our citizens' freedom, Demirda said when asked during a press conference at the party headquarters about the MHP's negative stance toward the HDP. Before Bosley spoke at the party's group meeting, the opposition parties had the chance to elect the parliament speaker because they enjoy an almost 60% majority in parliament. Some thought that the MHP and the HDP would vote for CHP candidate Baikal. In response to Bosley's call for the CHP to support the MHP candidate given that Sinalu was the joint candidate of the CHP and the MHP in last year's presidential election, CHP leader Kladerolo said in apparent frustration that there was no joint partnership left. Levit GOK, a CHP deputy, told today's Zayman that the MHP's decision not to vote in the fourth round effectively means they will be aiding the AK party and its candidate. The MHP's decision will hinder the opposition candidate's chances of election. I hope the MHP will reconsider its decision because mathematically, it will help pave the way for the election of the AK party's candidate, he said. The HDP also responded to the MHP's announcement, with parliamentary group chairperson Pervin Bolden stating that the HDP would not vote for MHP candidates in Ali should he reach the final round of the election. When asked after the election why the MHP would rather fail to vote instead of voting for the CHP spy call, MHP Deputy Chairwoman Zuhal Topku said in a live interview on television, who did by call meet after the election on June 7. What did he say in that meeting? How are CHP deputies responding to this? They the CHP are asking for support from us before answering these questions. Topku's remark is a reference to a meeting Baikal unexpectedly made with President Erdogan shortly after the June 7 election.